I'm going to tie a red fox squirrel nymph, but I'm going to tie it as a wet fly. Uh, so I'm going to do it almost exactly the same as I did uh, the just a regular nymph pattern uh, with a couple of different exceptions. So starting off with a size 12 wet fly hook and device, and I'm going to use my 8 op black thread. Just get that started on the hook shank here, and then clean up the tag section. I'm going to use a uh, fox squirrel tail for this and again there's two different sides uh, there's the reddish color and then there's one that's darker so I'm going to use the darker in this pattern I'm going to take it straight off the tail and I'm not going to stack it or anything like that but I am going to take more than what I think I'll use so that way as I start to pull out the longer sections and shorter sections and it decreases in volume uh, it's going to eventually end up to be about the the thickness that I'm looking for. So just cleaning up some of these tip sections and if there's some shorter ones uh, I'm not too concerned and when I'm comfortable with that I'm just going to measure that out to be about a hook shank uh, or maybe a little bit less in length. Tie it down to the barb and the hook and then bring it back up and then I'll trim the excess. So now I can add in my rib and I'm going to use the same gold oval rib as I did in the nymph pattern. And so I'm just going to clip that off and again tie that just into the side. And then bring it back up to about the midway point. Now I can take my red fox belly fur and just pull a good section off of that to dub it. I'm just kind of adding a section here as I go. When I get down to the bottom, I'll give it just a little bit of a twist and then work my way back up and fill in any of those gaps. I'm not going to put much of a taper on the wet fly pattern, certainly less than. I do the other. If you have some of these errant fibers, some of that will get caught down when I do the ribbing, uh, but just pull a couple of those off. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. And again, I try to pull out the guard fibers if I, if I can catch them, otherwise just trim them off later. Just a slight taper there, and I'll finish off towards the front. And now I can take my wraps. You can reverse wrap this if you want, but if you take just a little steeper angle, nice even wraps, it shows up pretty well. And I'll bring it to the front and tie that off. Now the one substitution I like to make here is I'm going to use Hair's Mask for dubbing the thorax. So I'm just going to take my wax and give it a good coating there. And now I'll just take off the hide a section or off the mask a section of dubbing here. That wax lets everything just cling a little bit better. And so you'll notice I left some space here around the eye, and that's where I'm going to tie in uh, my wet fly. And for this, I'm going to use what I, what I use in most of my patterns, and that's just a soft hackle hen. So I'll take a
piece out here. And I'll just strip back and away. Just clean up the stem. And then I'm going to pull all of this back. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. And when I do that, I'm taking everything back and away from the eye. And I'll just clean up that tip section. And I'll hold it by the stem and then I'll just lay, I'll lick my fingers and I'll just lay this back on itself. So that every turn it's, it's doubling. And just as I do this again, holding everything, pulling everything back and away from the the eye. Take one more wrap, bring it up to the top, and then I can secure the stem. I'm just going to fold everything back, so tie in the stem to the head, and start to build out my then you can just break that off. So now I'll build out a head here. And I'll whip finish. And trim the excess. Again, notice I'm not cutting, I just slide it across when I'm kind of in the danger of cutting hackle. And then I'll just finish this off with a drop of head cement. Make sure I clean out the eye. So again, tied exactly the same as I did the nymph. Uh, just don't add weight to it, and then you have the the hen hackle on the front to make it a wet fly. Uh, so that is just a very slight variation of Dave Whitlock's uh, red fox squirrel, uh, and that is the wet fly variety.